my name is Ayan and I'm going to be looking at how you can create content. First of all, it's important to um, conduct an audit. So do some audience research, have a look at your audience, what are architects and specifiers looking for when making product decisions, what kind of information do they need. Um, collate the information, so group all your content together, look at what you've got, what you don't have, and this allows you to identify gaps. So um, what kind of content do you need to create more of? From this gap ana analysis, make a list of your audience because that's the most important thing. You need to know who is it that you're writing for, what exactly, um, what exactly are they looking for, and make a list of your target audience segments. So you could have architects, specifiers, um, facilities managers, merchants, all these different groups have different needs and different requirements. So look at your content, collate it and group it so that um, you know, identify what content do you have that's suitable for architects and designers, what content do you have for facilities managers, what content do you have for homeowners. And through this you might identify content that you don't have enough of. And once you, once you understand that, you can then go back to the drawing board and create more of this content. And this takes you on to deciding what types of content. So from this audience research, you would have identified what types of content they're looking for and in what format. So um, architects and designers might prefer visual content, so in the form of images, in the form of um, technical manuals, they want to know what your product looks like, they want to know more in-depth technical information about specifying your product. So make sure that you're presenting and producing content in um, such formats. Uh, engineers, for example, might need uh, more in-detail de in information, so you might produce more webinars or more white papers so that they can download it or just um, quickly view um, uh, a short webinar on how to install your product, for example. Videos. Videos are a very powerful, uh, very powerful tool, and for example, homeowners that buy your products, they need to know how to maintain it, or um, how to fix a, sh a short problem. So just create a video um, for about two, three minutes just explaining how to, how to uh, fix and maintain your products. And video is also a great way of showing client testimonials. So have you got any satisfied clients that would be willing to just give a short testimonial? And that is a great way of um, reassuring, reassuring um, um, your target audience that your product delivers on, um, on what it promises. From all of this, um, you then have to look at distributing your content. So what platforms are, is your audience active on? Your audience research would have, um, would have identified what, um, what types of content your, your audience consumes and through what platforms. So do they read blogs? Are they on Twitter? Um, do they use LinkedIn? So just make sure that um, you've done this research and you've identified this and then you can publish, publish your videos, publish your um, presentation slide share, for example, is a great uh, is a great way of publishing your presentations. It's a social platform where um, people share presentations and it just basically spreads your content to a whole new audience. And Twitter and LinkedIn can work together to um, where you can share your links and more people will um, be exposed to them. So basically what I'm trying to say is this whole, this whole process is a continuous cycle. So you start off on uh, your audience research, conducting your audit, looking at what information you have internally, um, then taking a look at your uh, type of audience, what kind of information do they want, what do they need, and in what format do they want videos, uh, do they want presentations, do they want white papers, and then finally, ways of distributing your content. How are you going to share um, your content, how are you going to spread the word to make sure um, your audience finds your content? Well, that's it for uh, today. If you have any further questions, please Send us a tweet at Poly Creative um, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye.